Hey guys, Turtle Boss here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to culture your own confused rice flour beetles. Now, these beetles are used as a feed source for a wide variety of reptiles and amphibians and, I guess, arthropods, insects, any kind of creature you keep. So, the ingredients you're going to need to make your own confused rice flour beetle culture are pretty simple um, and really inexpensive. First thing you're going to need is some kind of plastic container just like this second thing you're gonna need is some flour now you can go pretty cheap like I went with this one I think this was only uh, a dollar or so and it has enough flour in it to make dozens and dozens of these cultures so you're also going to want well this is optional but I strongly recommend it wherever I put it where, where did I put it we will be right back. And you guys are going to want some spirulina powder. Just like this right here. Um, you don't have to get this much. This is a bit overkill. Uh, I think this one was like, this whole package here was 20 bucks from GNC. You could probably get it a little bit cheaper, but I use this on multiple things. I use this to culture brine shrimp. Um, yeah, I use it to culture brine shrimp as well. And it has lasted me about a year, so, you know, overall, for the value I've gotten out of the cost, it's pretty good, but um, I'd recommend going a smaller quantity if you're just making a few of these cultures for your uh, rice beetles. So, you're going to want spirulina powder, flour, your container, and that's pretty much it as far as materials go. Um... There are a few more things, and I'll get to those later in the video. But now we are going to open up these confused, confused uh, rice flour beetles that I just got in the mail today. So let's open this package up. Cut it open. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, there it is. Now I'll just cut that open. Here we got some newspapers. And we have our rice flour beetle culture right here. Now, the thing about these beetles is that they are extremely tiny. I can hold them up to the camera right here. You guys can see these guys are very small. Now we'll get into the actual construction of the culture itself. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is measure out a cup of flour. So you take and just grab the flour just like so. You want to pour out about a cup. Um, depends on the size of your culture right here. This culture is uh, about 16 ounces. So one cup will fit in here just perfectly. Take up about half of the entire, um, half of the entire little container right there, which is just fine. Let's see here. Not quite one cup yet. And there we go, we have about a cup of flour now. And I'm just gonna simply pour that straight into the container, like so. Now that I've got my flour, I'm gonna use my spirulina powder. Now this powder is meant to, you know, act as a sort of, some extra nutrients. Just some extra nutrients for the flour beetles. So now I'm going to use about a tablespoon of spirulina powder. So, about a tablespoon of that. Try not to get it everywhere. There's half a tablespoon, then another half of a tablespoon. So, just like that, once you get it in there, 
and go ahead and mix the substrate together until it's pretty uniform. So it'll be a nice white substrate with just a tint of green to it. Just, whoops, spilled some out. Just like this, you gotta mix it. Keep mixing it. So, now that we have a fairly nicely mixed container, the final product is going to look like this. Now we are almost ready to get the beetles in here. Next thing we need to do is to cut out holes in the top of the Ziploc lid right here, some ventilation holes. So, we're going to do that now. As you can see now, I have simply drilled three holes into uh, roughly the center of the lid right here. Um, I did have some problem. I did fracture a bit of the container right here with this hole, but that should be solved. You know, that should be more or less solved in the next step, which is adding a layer under here to prevent the rice beetles from escaping. Because as I showed you guys earlier, these... Uh, rice beetles are very tiny and so they would definitely escape out of these holes so yeah now what I've done here as you guys can see is super glue a bit of a napkin to the bottom of this lid right here to cover up the holes that I previously just drilled in here this way air can still pass through here the beetles still get some ventilation but at the same time it's um they won't be able to escape and so once this dries this culture is now complete and ready for the beetles and there you guys go that is literally all you need in order to make a good uh rice beetle culture now thing is about these beetles is that they do not require a water source whatsoever all they need is the medium right here so once you guys get this container, you know, filled out, get this culture ready, you can go ahead and put your beetles in here, put them on a shelf, and forget about them for a couple of months. Which, yeah. For today's video, I am not going to go ahead and put the beetles from that culture into this one, just because that is a brand new culture right there, and I want the beetles to kind of grow out of it before switching them over to this right here. So... This culture is just going to have to sit and, you know, wait a little bit just for some beetles to come in. So, uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And I will be making future videos about this, so uh, subscribe and stay tuned about that. Um, with that said, uh, like, subscribe, do all those um, YouTube things. I don't have a Patreon, but if I did... I would take your money. And with that said, Turtle Boss out.